empanadas. Today we're making my favorite empanadas. Beef empanadas. Mama B, she knows what she's doing. She knows the dealio. We both grew up eating it, so this is my version that I'm making. I'm sure that all the Latin Americans have their own version of empanadas, but this is how we love to eat it. Okay, so obviously you're starting with a ton of onions and you're just chopping them as small as possible? Yes. So I'm gonna make about two pounds of meat. Okay. So I have about eight onions. So if you're making a pound, maybe three or four onions, I like a lot of onions in the empanadas. Depending on how much you like, that's how many you put, but I put a lot. Okay. Everyone's gonna have stank breath, but it's okay because it's worth it. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. You can never put too many onions. I'm telling you, this is, this is the real deal right here. There's like 800 onions in this thing. So, okay, for two pounds of meat, you have how many onions? I have eight. But that's because I'm making a lot of empanadas. Like okay. I'm making some for us, for uh, celebrating my mom's birthday. I'm gonna ah. take some for our friends at CrossFit. Ooh. Uh, so that's why I'm making a lot of meat, but you okay. don't need to make two pounds okay. for yourselves. So two pounds of meat and lots of onions. Yeah. I'm putting some uh, olive oil. Okay. And there are people who will say, you don't cook with olive oil, but I like to put olive oil with my onions. And ah. I've always done that and uh, it's fine. So I don't have the heat super high. I have it on medium because I want the onions to sweat out and get cooked. Mm -hmm. And um, and I don't want them to burn. So okay. I don't want brown onions. I just want them to cook down. Okay. But I want them to stay white. Yeah, you don't want to burn the onions. No, I don't you like burned onions them. because okay. it, tastes, it changes the taste and the flavor of it. Um, so I stay here and I keep stirring them around, making sure they don't get burnt. And it's on medium. On medium, medium heat. heat. How long does a batch of onions like this take? Um, I'm gonna say maybe 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Because I'm not putting the heat really high. Okay. So you're gonna see the difference from this to when they're actually cooked. The whole house is gonna smell like onions. I'm gonna smell like onions for like three days, but it's <laughs> worth it. It's worth it, I'm telling you, it's... <gasps> They're so good. The onions are the heart and soul of the empanada. That's right. Or is it the meat? So I'm gonna smell like heart and soul for the next three days. The, well, the meat is a heart and soul too. So the meat and the onions. So I like the smell of meat and onions. I don't mind smelling like meat and onions. It's, it's fine. It's okay. I'm not gonna get chased by any bears or anything. How are your eyes not burning right now? Because I cook on a regular basis. Why are you laughing at me? Are you laughing at me or are you laughing with me? I'm laughing at you. Okay. You need to cook more often. You should be laughing with more me. More often than never. What? Uh, you know what? Is I that cook. a thing? I cook. I cook. I cook. Um, I cook uh, eggs. You don't cook. Okay, show my onions now. Show your onions. So see how they're nice and they're cooking down. Yes. They, they're not caramelized. That's not the flavor I'm going for. They're just cooked onions. What does caramel, caramelized mean? It's when they're brown and... Um, oh, and, just uh, like overcooked? Well, not overcooked, but there's recipes that called for caramelized onions. This is not oh, one so of they're like them. Brown. You just need them like slightly cooked. Right. Okay, and see so. how I keep turning because I don't want them to sit in the heat. Yeah, and this has been turning for what? Yeah. 10, 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. My, my eyes have been burning for like 20 minutes. Okay, so they need to figure out how to how to fix this whole onion burning eye thing because it's, you know. Okay, and if you find that your onions are sticking, you can take a tiny bit of water, not a lot. You can take a tiny bit of water and put it in there. All right. To make sure that the onions don't stick to the pan, All okay? Right. So just a little bit. Just a little bit. This is how I want the onions. Okay. So now I'm gonna add the meat. That is and a lot of meat. Lean ground beef, two pounds. Yeah, and like I said, like no one is gonna make this much meat. Wow, it's because that's a lot of meat. I am making a ton of empanadas. Yes. For, see, I'm gonna remove it. A lot of it. meat eaters. So, oh, take it off the heat. Yeah, and that is because I plan to make a lot of empanadas. Mm -hmm. My son wants to take some to school for his teacher. To get, so that he can get better grades, I think. No, it's because he loves her. When I was a kid, I would have to bring my teacher like, at least two dozen empanadas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can we make one giant meatball one day? Yeah, uh, no, because then the middle wouldn't cook. I'm just mixing 
the meat down and it's gonna start to cook with the onions and I'm gonna start to add my seasonings. Okay, what's in the seasonings, so, Mama B? So first, some salt. I use sea salt, you can use re regular salt if you want. So you can basically add as much or as little salt as you want. Yeah, sorry, I don't do measurements. I just kind of eyeball it. You just kind of eyeball it. Um, paprika, I love paprika and Pap everything. So I put quite a bit of that. Paprika for the frikas. Oh, that's a lot of, that's a nice paprika you mm -hmm. got there. That's well, don't forget, this is a lot of meat. Yeah, so you got two pounds of meat. Yeah. And so you gotta put in a lot of paprika. Yeah. Okay. Cumin. Cumin. I think this is also a heart and soul for empanadas. Oh yeah, cumin is a nice, and okay, so you don't want to toss a ton no, of cumin in there. No, so not it's as very much as, powerful. Not as much as you did the paprika. No. Okay, just a no. little bit. Yeah. Cumin for the humans. Okay. And then black pepper. And there you go. Just a and little bit of black pepper, right? You didn't just a little bit, not right, a lot. Cool. I put uh, adobo. Okay. This is uh, from Uruguay. Uh -huh. But you can also put oregano or uh, it any Italian seasoning or anything like that. This is nice because it has a little bit of everything. Okay. And it oh. gives it a really nice flavor. Adobo. 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 Cumin. Adobo for the lobos. Sea salt. Black pepper. That's black pepper. And this is paprika. Yeah. All right, paprika for the frikas. And now you're mixing it all up. Mm-hmm. Just mix it up nice and slowly. Yeah. Don't let it burn, so you gotta make no. sure you're stirring it. Okay, so let's get a close-up of that meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paprika for the frikas! Paprika for the frikas! Paprika for the frikas! Paprika for the... Are you trying to scare me? You're trying to hide around the... You are trying to scare me! <clears throat> this is the little monkey, if you didn't know. There's a little monkey. We're making empanadas, and the little monkeys are... They're hungry for empanadas. So I turned up the heat now because I want to make sure that the meat cooks very, very well. So it's not the same heat as the onions. I turned it up to about three quarters up. And now you can hear it bubbling because the meat actually expels some liquid. So it helps everything to cook nicely. Okay. And again, I'm not letting it sit to cook. I keep stirring. So nothing gets burned, nothing sits at the bottom of the pan. Can you hear that? See the bubbles? See? It's juicy. Meat and onions. What's your meat and onions face? Is that your meat and onions face? Do you want to no, see? No, that's my what are you talking about face? Okay, this is this is my meat and onions face. Is it cute? Really? You should be paying attention to learn how to do this, to make it for oh, me one oh. day. Speaking of turning up the heat, I am learning. I know how to make empanadas, Mama B. You don't know how to make... Never mind. I, I don't know how to make empanadas. See how it's starting to get three quarters cooked? Okay, you still see some pieces that need cooking. Mm -hmm. All right, now All right. I add white wine. Do you need to add white wine? No, you don't need to add white wine, but okay. I have been adding white wine for years okay. and it works for me. I like the flavor with the meat okay. and I let this sit overnight. A little bit of white wine for flavoring. When about. you cook with alcohol, the alcohol evaporates. What's left behind is the actual flavor. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. And what will also happen is when you bite into the empanada, it won't be like dry meat in there. It'll be nice juicy beef. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's also So helps. the wine keeps it juicy. Okay, right. a little bit of wine. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, you got two pounds of meat in there, so it's definitely yeah. a little bit of wine there. But the, the alcohol evaporates, so you don't uh, actually taste the no. alcohol from the wine because the alcohol is gone. And now that there's liquid in there, now mm -hmm. I can really turn up the heat. Turn it up. It. Taste test, Mama B. Mm. I'm going to add a little bit more paprika. Okay. And more cumin. These are the seasonings that I like. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm sure all the Latin Americans have their version, their seasonings that they like to put, but this is what I like to put and I get a lot of compliments on my empanadas when people eat them. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's all I use. I'm gonna let this cool down. I'm gonna cover it and put it in the fridge overnight. I like this to be nice and cold. So when I'm making the empanadas, the beef, is cold and the, all the juices from the wine um, are not flowing out of the dough when I'm putting it together. So this is gonna go overnight in the fridge. Overnight in the fridge. There it is. 
Let it sit mm. in the fridge overnight. Mm. It's the next day and I'm ready to build my empanadas now. I just took out the meat from the fridge and you'll see what it looks like. And see, it's not runny, it's uh, hard, uh, the mixture is solid, so it's gonna be easy to make the empanadas now. This is my empanada building station. Ooh. I have hard boiled eggs. I boiled a ton of eggs and peeled them. These are olives with no seeds inside, but I have eaten empanadas that have the seeds inside the olives. I got my meat. Um, I have a bowl with water in case I need water to seal the empanada. And these are the doughs. So I don't make my own dough. It's a ton of work to make your own dough. And these are known as the tapas, tapas de empanadas, or the, um, the dough that you fill the empanada with. And this is a little bit greasier than like pizza dough. It's a little bit greasier and oilier. Uh, and that's why it's so yummy and good and these are great because they're individually wrapped So wherever you live try going to a, a Latin Grocery store bakery and ask them if they have the dough or the tapas to make empanadas And so this is what I use and they're amazing tapas. So this is where I get comfortable. I just sit here and I listen to music and I have my pen here ready with some parchment paper ready for the for the oven for the Assembly what for the assembled empanadas? Yes, so I take some mixture. So just like a spoonful of mixture. Yeah, so I try to put as much as I can Because I remember being a kid and eating empanadas and there was just like this much beef and a tiny piece of egg And it used to drive me crazy. So now that I'm an adult and I'm able to make my own empanadas I put as much meat as possible and a nice big piece of egg. So the egg I cut into, I would say eight pieces. And so I put one piece of egg, one olive. Of course, my hands are very, very clean. I wash them and now I seal it. So see, I'm gonna wet a little bit here and push everything down with my hand. And first I'm gonna gently push it down with my fingers. And now here is the special technique to seal it. Now that's special. That'll keep the meat from flying out. That's right, because you don't want anything to come out while it's cooking. And there it's wow. sealed. Actually exists machines that you can buy or little devices that seal it for you. And uh, I've tried those and I didn't like them. So that's why I do it like this. Old fashioned style. Shbam, 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 bam, shbam, boom, shbam, bam. What? Now, now that's a skill right there. What? Shbam, 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 shbam. Oh. Here are the empanadas. They're ready to be popped in the oven. There's just a couple of more steps to do. First is we're gonna do an egg wash to go over them. Okay, so we're gonna beat. Beat those eggs, Moby. I just added a tiny bit of water. I'm gonna grab my brush. Brush the egg wash. Give it a little gold. It's like a, it's gonna give it that golden yeah. shininess. I love that yellow color. That golden shininess. Nice. So that's the last one. And right before they go into the oven, we are going to pop a few holes on the top of each empanada to let the steam out. And done. They're ready to go into the oven. I put the oven at 400. It's nice and hot. 400? Yeah, and we're gonna keep an eye on these. Don't worry guys, you'll be out soon. We promise. Mwah. The smell is incredible coming out of this oven. Ready? <sighs> yes. Oh, wow. Look at that beautiful wow. color. 
Look at that color. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. That's exactly what you want. How you doing? Good. Good. Ooh. How's the empanada, Slick Rick? Mm -hmm. Ah, Slickity Slick? Do you, do you put some hot sauce in that? It is Abuela's birthday that we're celebrating and that's why we made these empanadas. So we're here with Abuela. My mom is the best cook ever and that's where I got my love of cooking and my love of food is from my mom. Oh yeah, so you have to taste the empanada. Mm -hmm. You have to tell us. I can't mama... wait. I can't wait. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she loves it. This is excellent. Nice. It's a very nice. It's a Willa approved. Is it a Willa approved? Nice. Yes, it is. On a scale of one to ten, what do you what do you say? Eleven. Hey! Yeah, y'all. Uh -huh.